Hi. And welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Earth. Good day. <laughs> welcome to the big show. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. A. A uh, little quote of the day for you. It just says, only those who do nothing at all make no mistakes, but that would be a mistake. So just to remind you about the student that we had come in the other day, talk to you a little about her journey to UCLA. That involved uh, a lot of risk and sometimes making mistakes, but overall, I, I know that you sense that it was worth it to her and her life. So just keep on getting out there and taking risks and working hard, and then one day it'll all pay off, all right? So we're going to take a look at section 10.2 today, parabolas, and we're going to learn how to graph and write those equations. Here's the homework. Just go ahead and press pause and write that down. So here's an example of a conic section. It's what's called a flashlight conic. You can take flashlights and make different conic sections on the wall. This is kind of an example of a parabola. Uh, this is an example that we looked at in class of a uh, of a basketball and it's time-lapse photography and we also talked a little bit about how that's a parabolic shape as you can see but also that as you look at the speed the reason that the basketballs up here are a little bit closer to each other is because that's where it's slowing down. Notice that if you take a look at the slope, if there was a line that was to follow the slope of the basketball, here and here when the basketball is at its fastest speed, the slope is steepest. But up top, if we were to watch this line, it's almost like you're in a car on a roller coaster and once you get to the top it slows down but you're also flat. This line up top where it's flat, well, that represents a slope of zero, and that's also where the speed is slowest. And then this one's just a golf ball in the same parabolic shape. So parabolas can also represent uh, motion of objects as they get launched or they bounce and then they come back to Earth. Uh, a couple of my favorite parabolas right there. Uh, those are my kids' favorite parabolas for sure. Now here's one very special property about a parabola. Now this, there's a point right in the middle and it looks yellow on this picture, but this is what you call the focus. Okay, and the focus has a special property in that if anything is like emanating from the focus, for example, if the focus is a light bulb and it's emanating light out of the bulb, anywhere that that light hits the parabola, it's going to bounce back out of the parabola at basically, for example here, it's going to bounce out and shoot straight out of the parabola. So if you take a look at a modern car and go and look at the headlights of that modern car, you'll notice that there's a bulb and that bulb is in the general position of this focus right here and the surrounding mirrors that or like the reflectors that uh, redirect the light out of that little housing, that's in a parabolic shape. Okay, so all the light that hits those reflectors goes straight out to maximize uh, the use of that light when you're driving. Here's another example of a satellite dish. All of the information that comes out of the dish shoots straight out. And similarly, this is in my backyard, so I get like 10 million channels, that any information that is bounced out of this focus, wherever it hits, it's going to go straight out into space. Likewise, if you were to look at any information coming to the parabola, it's going to bounce off and go straight back to the focus to receive that information. So that's pretty cool. If you were to take a slice of this, of this satellite dish, just slice it right down the middle, that cross section is going to look like a parabola. This is, I really don't know what this is to tell you the truth. I just did a search online for parabolas, and this was on some German page. Uh, Benign parabola. So I was like, okay, cool, we'll take it. And where would you not want to be? Well, if this sucker's reflecting light, if you're on the inside of this building right here, like the part that we cannot see, maybe I'll put that a different color, that side of the building that we really can't see right there, if the light's shining in 
and it's bouncing back at you, you are toast. You are a crispy, crunchy post toasty. Uh, Bellagio, you see the water going up, coming down, shape of a parabola. And another famous parabola, the St. Louis Arch. And then finally we got, um, we got a suspension bridge. Okay, so pretty cool stuff. What I'm going to do is we'll stop the video here. This is just intro to parabola. We'll come back and deal with all of the equations and things like that.